it's a difficult thing to describe. An uh, anarchist commune in the woods, but it's it's obviously much more than that. The castle um, is just amazing. A somewhat disorganized, very well-meaning group. When you're down in the city, it could sound like paradise. Hippie anarchist collective at an abandoned lumber mill. Post-apocalyptic. <laughs> in actuality, every place got its problems. I said, you know, for a non-conformist community, you got more fucking rules than, you know, prison. <laughs> it's okay, you're home. You don't need to impress anyone. We will get to know you. Now, what is different between where you live and average America? There are real life anarchists out there and they actually talk to real people. I thought the anarchists hate everybody. It's, a, it's important to note that anarchy does not mean without rules, it means without rulers. That people can do whatever they want to do as long as they can and, and are willing to undo it if someone has a problem. Um, I think the most important thing is, is more about learning how to live with people. Um, don't really have as much personal space. What would you say the best and worst parts of Kirk House are? The people and the people. Do I need to name names? <laughs> and it's like the same things that's really good can be really bad. That always, things are always happening. It can be really overstimulating. There's too many people here. I don't know any of them. I don't want to know their names because they're leaving tomorrow. <laughs> like, there's so many projects. I just want to have personal time or whatever. I think the worst part and the best part are the same thing and the rotation of people. A lot of people coming in and out, things don't get done, but also you meet a lot of people with new ideas, but then the ideas don't get done. We don't ever want to turn anyone away because of the potential of like meeting someone super awesome. Um, but then that can get kind of wearing. And we do not buy our food, we dive it. We do buy certain things. But Can you explain to the viewers what does it mean to dive food? Like in the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish. No, it means to go up to uh, a store cer and certain dumpsters eat dumpster. and get their food. <laughs> Do you like dumpster diving? It's really fun, yeah. Because it's like searching for treasure. And... There's so much built-in waste to this capitalist society that all this food is thrown away. The biggest thing that's challenged is the idea that I need to define myself by the values of the greater society. I think I always liked to think I knew that and like, oh, I'm more than my resume or, oh, I'm more than the job that I have. There's a lot of people who come in here are young, and um, and they're coming here around the time that they're starting to wonder, what am I going to do with the rest of my life? What am I going to look like, and what am I going to be doing when I get old? And, um, or even if old means 35, 